Hi folks, just a little update vlog of sorts for you. Um, out here in the front garden we've had something interesting um, happening over the last couple of weeks and I thought I'd just bring you along and show you what's going on. What we have here is our little broccoli stand. We had a half a dozen or so broccoli in here. We just let go to flower so we collect the seeds from them. And one problem we've had with them this time around is aphids. Absolutely loaded with aphids all over it. I mean, this one stem here probably has thousands of them. There's all in there. A bit hard for you to see, but take my word for it. This plant is covered with aphids. Uh, normally what I do is bring out the garden hose, give them a big um, squirt with that, and what that normally does is just crush them. The water pressure alone is enough to kill these little fellas. Uh, another thing we do is hit them with a soap spray. Um, it washes off their protective coating and they basically dry up and die. I'll put a recipe to that one in the description below. But this time around, I've done absolutely nothing. Um, I've just let it go. Because what I wanted to do was something we've done with some cucumbers out the back. Um, I wanted to create a little um, ladybug or lady beetle nursery. Um, it's a bit hard with all the wind. This camera doesn't want to zoom. But we have little ladybugs in all different forms and stages. Uh, the one in the center of the screen there is a pupa. Uh, it's gone from the larval stage into a pupa stage. There we have an adult there in the middle. Another pupa there. We have them all over this plant. Down in here, it's going to be hard for me to get good close-ups, so I might just put some stills in, but down in here we have a lava, and there's another lava down in there. Um, down in here we have a couple of pupa just on the um, branches there, so they are all over the place. Uh, I've got a little um, lava just crawling around down in there. So these things are absolutely fantastic. They are really hooking into these aphids. There's a whole heap more up in here. Oh, I wish the wind had stopped. Those little black dots, um, there's a couple just there, one there, a couple there. Um, there, some of them are pupating ladybugs, and I think there's one or two larva in there. Ladybugs can lay anywhere up to about 50 eggs at a time. The eggs take about four days to hatch, and when the larva emerge, they pretty much will hook into the aphids straight away. Um, they eat up to about a dozen a day, so I've read, depending on how old they are, of course. Um, they also eat other things like scale, mites, and other insect eggs, even their own, you know, their own brothers and sisters' eggs. Once they're a larva, they pretty much will go through four stages. Uh, the, uh, at the end of every stage, they molt, um, become a little bit larger. At the end of the fourth molting stage, they start to pupate, and they'll stay in the, the pupal form up to about 12 days when they emerge as an adult. Um, while they're adults, they eat anywhere up to around about 60 aphids a day. Um, some places I've read they'll eat anywhere up to 100 a day. They'll also feed on pollen as well, which is great for the little carrot flowers we have below this broccoli stand here. And from there, they go on to mate, and the life cycle keeps going round and round and round in circle, as long as there's enough aphids and scale and bits and pieces for them to feast on. So there's a whole heap just uh, pupating down on this branch here, all those little black dots. So I'm mighty chuffed. Um, I just wanted to show you that. Um, you don't always have to knock off a pest, uh, especially if it's on a plant like this. We're not eating this plant. Um, the aphids would be sucking some life energy out of the plant, just um, depleting the sap. But as we're saving it for seed, I'm pretty sure just on one of those branches we would have more than enough seed for ourselves and everyone we know for next year's crop. So I figured I might as well just let the ladybugs go and yeah, eat all the aphids that had infested it. So I'll pretty much will leave it there. I just thought I'd give you a look at these little guys. If you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, pop them in the comments section below and I shall get back to you. Other than that, hope you all have a fantastic one and I shall catch you later. Cheers guys.